apart from the, you know, the spinning and kind of disorientation you get, there's this kind of disconnection from the world around you. It feels like you're in a cell, I guess. There's this membrane around you, and you're not a part of the ground anymore. You're just an independent thing. I'm trying to find the word for it. There's sort of an automatic that takes over, that, that you go into the zone of concentration, and you're trying to connect your mind and your body. And when it connects and you feel it, you're like, yeah, yeah. And then you like spin and you keep going like you're supposed to and you feel this wonderful thing, like you get your weight balance right and it's like, oh, there it is. And then it's like, it, it's fleeting. And so you're constantly trying to get back to that moment, but it's like enlightenment. It's like this aha. And those ahas like sustain you for weeks, you know. <laughs> and if you get one aha a week, they said that at the end of a year, you'll be great. <laughs> It was the motion, the spinning, the movement seemed like it was something that I would want to do. I'm a dancer, I've been tango dancing since I was 13, and there's a lot of spinning. Um, I don't naturally get dizzy too often. I guess it's just the momentum, my body just wants to do that. It feels natural. Expression, the freedom of expression is really important for a lot of people in the circus community. It's about art, and it's about bringing people together to share that. I like the challenge of it. I personally do it because it motivates me, and it makes me feel like I'm kind of taking progressive steps to uh, a goal I have for myself, I guess. Yeah, you got through your hands. That's the hardest part. Wow. <laughs> Is it scary? Yes. Yeah, oh, wow. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> You're so graceful, you both are. <laughs> <laughs>